Welcome everyone to bmobilesales.com tutorial on how to connect to QuickBooks and synchronize your data. The first process, if you're not already there, is to go to bmobilesales.com and go to the login page with the green button at the top right. You're going to go ahead and type in your, um, your username and your password. It's going to remind you that uh, if you're part of the free trial process that you have a couple days left and also your two choices whether to con convert from a free trial over to a, a true account or just to continue. So in our example, we're still in our free trial modes. So we're going to continue on. The first page that it comes to by default is the transactions page. I want, page. I want you to go to the help and downloads folder. And this is a storage spot for downloads of um, applications as well as documentation that you'll find uh, building over time. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and download the QuickBooks data synchronization app. You know, when you click on that, you're going to notice that it downloads a, a file on the system tray. You're going to go ahead and click on that once it's done downloading and then go through the process of installation. Go ahead and double click on the icon on your desktop and that will take you into the application. You're going to go to file settings. And notice I have QuickBooks open already. It's a little bit more convenient if you do have that open at this point. But if you don't, go ahead and open it. You're going to go ahead and put your username and password in again for authentication purposes. Your password. And test the connection should come back with a successful pass. Test pass, so we're good with connecting to bmosales.com with those credentials. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on change for me to uh, populate the QuickBooks data file that it's going to be associated with. When you do that, it's gonna pop a, a window up underneath and that's the QuickBooks uh, certification process to allow us to access data within QuickBooks. Um, I like to always turn it on so that uh, I don't have to have QuickBooks loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but please read those options. And I'm going to click continue and say yes to the prompts. Click done. And now you, if before your mapping wasn't there, and now you can notice that it's uh, pointing to the right QBW file. And we have connected to QuickBooks. The last step of this process now to take data from QuickBooks and push it up to bmobilesales.com website is to send QuickBooks data to web. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to send up company, customer, and inventory item data and click on start. And watch the process down in the bottom left hand corner of the records being sent up to the website. It's going to give you a complete sim, uh, signal. You're going to click OK. And then you can go ahead and close that window. And then to verify that things have been sent, you can go back to bmobilesales.com and you can go to the customers tab and you should see your list of customers. You've successfully synchronized data from QuickBooks up to bmobilesales.com. The next process is for us to load up a device and synchronize it.